Hey everyone, I'm Jonathan with Kinks and Astrophotography. I wanted to make this video with the hopes to help uh, those of you who are new to astrophotography and curious about what you should get to start out wanting to spend your money wisely. If you make good choices ahead of time, you can save a lot of money. And I found this equation to figure out your image scale. Uh, this is something new to me. I've been doing this for two years and I wish I would have learned this equation when I started because it helps you pick the right camera for your equipment. The image scale is your pixel size divided by your focal length times the number 206. The number 206 comes from uh, there's 206 arc seconds per radian. It's a, a whole nother equation. Uh, just to keep it simple, we want to try to get that number of the initial equation, pixel size divided by focal length times 206, we want the number to fall between 1 and 2. And that's your arc seconds per pixel. And this helps you get sharp image of your stars. If your number is higher than 2, they call it undersampling. So your stars are going to be a little blocky. Uh, basically, your pixels are too big for the stars, and the stars are going to be uh, tiny. Um, almost so tiny, you won't be able to make out that they are a star. And that's not a huge problem uh, if you're just a bit above, because you can do some processing and make that work. Now, if you fall under the number one, they call it uh, oversampling, meaning that your star is overpowering each pixel. Uh, your pixels are too small for the focal length that you have. You have a small pixel, a very long focal length. And that will give you bloated stars. And that's a mess. That's hard to work with. And you don't want that. As an example, we'll use the Nikon D810. This is a camera that I've been using. It's a full frame uh, sensor camera. Um, I normally use that lens back there. It's an 80 to 400 millimeter um, telescopic lens. It's a pro lens. It's very good, very sharp. This camera, the full frame sensor in it, each pixel is 4.88 microns big. So we want to take that number 4.88 and then divide it by the focal length that we're going to be using. So if I'm going to be using that lens behind me, 4.88 divided by 400 equals 0 0.0122. Then we times it by that number 206. We get 2.5. Remember, we want it to be between 1 and 2. 2.5 is we're under sampling. So the stars were a bit blocky. I did have this issue with my images. Um, and I just figured that it was because I was way too far out. I need to get a telescope so I can zoom in. And I have better images of the stars and I can sharpen them up that way. So then that's what I did. I finally was able to get a eight inch Celestron telescope, a very old telescope. I traded in my old camera for this scope and it had a focal length of around 2000. So we'll do the equation again. So we got 4.88 divided by 2000 millimeters. Now that equals 0 0.00244 times 206 now we got 0.5 so I'm still way off and now I'm over sampling my image my stars were coming out blotchy when I would take pictures of nebulas it would be a bit hard um, to kind of balance the stars the stars were always overshadowing they were way too bright it was hard processing the images I got a focal reducer which was a I brought the focal length down to um, 1250. So we'll do the equation again. 4.88 divided by 1250. That equals 0 0.003904 times 206. Now I got 0.8. So I'm closer. My images after that focal reducer has been much better. But still it's not right there. So... When you're looking at products out there, you want to pay attention to that pixel size of the sensor. And then you want to figure out what telescope you're going to use. Um, really, once you 
find a camera that you're going to be happy with or find a camera that you think is going to be good um, that really determines what kind of lens or telescope you should get and if you can match that then your images are going to be so much easier to process it's going to be encouraging and you're going to spend your money more wisely please i hope this helps you and please give me comments give me feedback let me know what you would like me to help you out with uh, in the future thank you